What's going on, you guys? We got some great news about the prelude that just got leaked and some news about uh, builds and things like that. So we're gonna get right into it. Again, I'm not gonna waste your time. All I ask is that you drop a like on the video for me. Let's try to get like 1,200 likes, something around there. I would appreciate it. So the first tweet we have from Zach is, many badges have gone through some much needed adjustments, most notable the dead eyes, meaning uh, mid-range and deep-range dead eye, saying they fire off more often. He also says ankle breaker and limitless range are not quite as powerful and defensive stopper is stronger. So again, it keeps going along with the fact that they're really, they really are hyping up defense, making it seem like they're really boosting and making defense much, much better. But also in here, it's saying that ankle breaker and limitless range are not quite as powerful. Obviously, those were two of the most important badges in 2K18. You know, sharpshooting playmakers would get that ankle breaker and then they could pull from, you know, two, three feet behind a three point line and green up. So maybe that won't be the case in 2K19. We'll have to see. And he's also talking about the dead eyes, meaning that they will activate more often. But they already told us contested shots are not going to go in at the rate they did in 2K18. So I don't know why the dead eye. You get what I'm saying? Anyways, let's move on. The next tweet from, uh, well, Kevin tweeted at Zach and said, for defensive stopper, does it work like this year where it only works on the position you're on and one below or above? So if I'm a center, then I don't have to worry about a lockdown small forward spamming like 2K17. And Zach said, same as 2K18. So, well, what doesn't make sense is Kevin talking about spamming. Like that has nothing to do with defensive stopper. Like the spamming is obviously pickpocket and steal. But what he's saying is, for those of you that don't know, in 2K18, defensive stopper only worked on a pos on the position that you played, plus or minus one. So if you're a small forward, your defensive stopper only worked on shooting guards, small forwards, and power forwards. If you were a center, your defensive stopper only worked on centers and power forwards. You know, I could keep going, point guard only works on point guard and shooting guard. Shooting guard works on point guard, shooting guard, small forward. I could keep going. Anyways, you guys get the idea. So apparently that remains true in 2K19. So for those of you making lockdowns, take that into consideration. The next tweet, minimum and maximum wingspans are now much longer and more realistic in my career. A natural benefit, but watch out for the attribute hits. Now, first of all, much longer. I feel like the wingspans already went pretty long. Like they were almost like, I don't want to say down to your knees, but they were pretty long. So if you can make them longer now, I don't know how that's more realistic. Unless he's just saying the player build looks more realistic. I don't know. I don't really get that. But if we scroll down, we scroll down here. He replies to his own tweet and he says, biggest hits are to open and off dribble outside shooting, as you probably expected. If you care about shooting, you'll care a lot about your wingspan. Now, some people are like freaking out about this on Twitter. Guys, you, re you realize that in 2K18, your wingspan affected your shooting. In 2K17, your wingspan affected your shooting. Now, unless he's saying that it's going to affect it more drastically, then I understand. But if it's going to be the same, it's really not a big deal. Like... 2K18, you max out your wingspan, your three on a pure stretch would go from a 99 to a 96. Like, come on. that's a, Three is not really making a big difference, let's be realistic. But if he's saying it's going to take a bigger hit, then obviously we got to look out for that and see how big of a hit that is. Next, hot zones are places on the floor you've earned for shooting well that give you shooting boosts. In NBA 2K19, hot zones are unique to each my career mode, NBA, park, Pro-Am, etc. Will not carry zones between one another. Prove yourself in each to earn zones. This is something I've been saying for a while. Why do I have to shoot good in my career to have a hot zone on the park? Now, they're separate. You get your hot zones on the park. You get your hot zones in the Pro-Am. So you actually have to shoot good in that mode to have a hot zone in that spot. This is a big W. I really like this. But you see here, we got these um, from the prelude. You're going to be able to unlock achievements to your gamer score. Now, I don't really care about gamer score, but I do care about some of these achievements because it tells us what we're going to be able to do in the prelude. So let's look at the first couple here. You said um, create a, create your player as one. So obviously that's good. We get to create our player in the prelude like we would all hope. Um, and then these other ones are like things that you're going to do like in the storyline, like set up we for the winning shot against the frogs, uh, go out on the town with your teammates after the game. So this is all part of the story, which I don't really care about. But there's a few things in these achievements that I do want to talk about because they give us some insight on the on what we're going to be allowed to do in the prelude. So the next four we have is meet the mysterious man in the tunnel after the game against the Jets. Get the news about the uh, NBA star coming to town. Take on the NBA stars team. So that means you're going to play against um, some NBA teams. You're not going to only play against uh, 
China, or unless that NBA star is in China, but obviously he's not if he's an NBA star. So you're going to play against NBA players. You're not only going to be playing against the Chinese teams and uh, show Corey what Shanghai has to offer. And the last two here, get the news about your future. They titled it Leaving on a Jet. So that means that's going to be like the end of the prelude. You're going to hear probably whatever that you got picked up by an NBA team or something like that. And here is the one I want to talk about. Get a proper 2K education. Complete a 2K tutorial. Now, I saw people on Twitter like, oh, who cares? 2K tutorial? Like, that's stupid. No, no, no. You're stupid. Listen, as I did last year, in the 2K tutorial, yes, there's you can go in there and they teach you how to, you know, do a crossover, how to shoot a jump shot, all that stuff. Who cares? We know how to do that, most of us. What I use the 2K tutorial for is there's like the shoot around mode. So you can test out dribbling. Obviously, you can't change animations and stuff, but you can test out dribbling. And more importantly, you can test you can you, know, you can test out post moves, dribbling, whatever, shooting, whatever. More importantly, you can test out badges. Listen to me. You can test out badges. Last year it was Cavs versus Warriors, right? This year I'm assuming it's going to be Warriors versus Lakers, but I'm not positive. It's usually the two finals teams, so it's probably going to be Cavs and Warriors, but I don't think they're going to do that. It's going to be Lakers Warriors, I think. You can test the badges of those players. Obviously, you don't you're not going to be able to test any badge you want, but you can test like I did last year. Limitless Range Gold versus Limitless Range Hall of Fame. Last year Curry had Hall of Fame, Clay had Gold. So I would sh- keep backing up, backing up and see the difference between Hall of Fame Limitless and Gold Limitless. You know, you could see the difference between um, you know, I think you can even scrimmage each other in that five on five. You can test out badges in that, you know, test the post badges of DeMarcus Cousins. You know, you could test the, the posterizer of LeBron. You can see how badges work and compare them to other players. You know, a lot of players in there are going to have some silver badges, some gold badges, and a few players will have Hall of Fame. So test those badges. You can really test out, you know, the build you're making maxed out badges you're not gonna max out your badges in the prelude it's just not gonna happen so you could test out hall of fame limits and see is it worth it or is gold okay that might determine what build you want to make things like that all right but that's all i got for you guys this is the news for today so far if anything else comes i'll probably drop a video tonight but i'm thinking they're gonna relax because i think tomorrow we're getting park news and i think community day is tomorrow but i'm not positive seems like there's some type of event going on in new york but anyways appreciate y'all watching the video i'll talk to y'all tomorrow